What's up everyone, if you're new to the channel, my name is Brendan Dell and I am the owner of a seven figure one person writing business working with some of the largest technology brands in the world. And today we are going to be sharing five chat GPT-4 frameworks to supercharge your productivity. A quick note before we dive in, if you want more things like this, I created a free ebook chat GPT Unleashed. It contains 99 prompts to help entrepreneurs supercharge their productivity. We'll put the link in the comments. My goal with this information is to equip you to be more effective in using chat GPT. I don't want to give you rote prompts, but instead a way of thinking about that you engage with the technology so that you can bend it to your will and get it to do whatever it is you want in the most effective, efficient manner possible. And with that, we'll dive right in. First framework I want to talk about today is what I call the programming framework. And in this framework, you actually actually program ChatGPT to know everything about your business. The stages are programmed, contextualized, and refined, and it works like this. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is program ChatGPT to understand your business at a deep and granular level. So anything that ChatGPT spits out, it can be more effective in doing so. And you can do this for any use case. I think of this in terms of entrepreneurial ventures, but you can ask ChatGPT to become more acquainted with anything. So you can start by setting the stage. I'm going to create a content strategy for my new SaaS product, and I want you to act as my content strategist. Ask me a series of questions so that you can become an expert at my brand. And what will happen is ChatGPT will spit out a series of questions that it'll want you to answer. You go back through and provide really great answers to those questions. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is contextualize. So great, now that you understand my business, I want you to create a full monthly content calendar to engage my audience on LinkedIn. Please recommend 30 post ideas so that we can post every day and these posts should be optimized to drive high engagement from my audience. What you'll notice in all these example prompts is the more specific we are with information, the more effective our outputs from ChatGPT will be. And the third step is simple, we refine. Let's work on the posts together. Let's start with post one. Can you create two posts and you know, et cetera? And you're going to now work through the task with ChatGPT and refine the output. In a fraction of the time that it would have taken you to complete this task on your own, you now have on strategy, effective social media content that you can use to expand your brand. The second framework is what we call APE. And APE stands for action, purpose, and expectation. Now, quick note before we dive into this framework, if you're enjoying this video or you do enjoy it at the end, would you give me a quick like or subscribe? I will be forever great. All right, action, purpose, expectation. First thing, action, to find the job or activity to be done. Second thing, purpose, discuss the intention or goal. And third, expectation, state the desired outcome. Now let's give you an example of what this might look like. So action, this is where you tell ChatGPT what you would like from it. Can you help me define a content strategy for my new SaaS technology? Purpose, you're gonna program ChatGPT to know what you want. Our goal is to reach and engage founders at, you know, series A through C, technology companies, and we want the content strategy to develop to generate engagement among that buyer. And then expectation, you're gonna tell it what you want the outcome to be. We wanna increase our engagement by at least 25% with this strategy. And the goal is to give ChatGPT a thorough understanding of what you are trying to accomplish so that it can be very specific and helpful in its recommendations. Action, purpose, expectation. Number three, we call this one race, and it stands for role, action, context, and expectation. Role, specify the role of ChatGPT. Action, detail what, the, what action is needed. Context, provide relevant details of the situation. Expectation, describe the expected out. Role, imagine you are my attorney, for example, or my doctor, and you're going to give it a role to play in what you'd like to do. You know, imagine you are my CFO, imagine you are, etc. right? Give it the role to play. So let's say you asked ChatGPT to ask as a growth strategist for your business. You would next give it the action. Suggest a series of high impact, low cost growth hacking techniques that I can use to grow my business. Then you give it the context. This is for a SaaS tool aimed at enterprise buyers in technology, right? Tell it who your target audience is or give it context on the desired outcome. And the expectation. The expected outcome here is for us to identify the top three highest probability growth techniques that can help me grow my SaaS business in the most effective and efficient manner possible. Number four, coast. 
This stands for context, objective, actions, scenario, and task. Context, again, set the stage. Objective, describe the goal. Actions, explain the actions needed. Scenario, describe the scenario. And task, describe the task. This is a great prompt to use when there's some kind of inflection point, dependency, new law, etc., that you're going to have ChatGPT creating a plan or an outcome to deal with. And I'll give you an example here. Your context might be something like this. With the implementation of new GDPR laws, the way we go to market in European countries is now very different. And my objective is to create a strategy to make sure we are compliant across our organization organization with all GDPR laws. The action is to set up holistic strategy to audit all of our channels to make sure we're compliant with GDPR. The strategy needs to be effective and efficient to be month and the task is to develop a detailed plan to help us work through and make sure we are GDPR compliant across our entire enterprise. For fifth and final framework, we have TRACE. And this stands for task, request, action, context, and example. Now this is great when you have examples of things that you'd like to implement. And the steps are as follows. Task, you're gonna define the task. Request, you're gonna define what you're asking for. Action, you're gonna state the action of what you need. Context I means provide context of the situation. Example means give an example to illustrate your point, to give it something that you'd like to emulate. So here's an example. Your task is to create a high conversion paid ad campaign. I want you to assist in the development of headlines and ad concepts. And I need you, Action, to draft five examples of this. I always like to be as specific as possible when I'm working with ChatGPT. The context is we are relaunching our you know, new shoe brand and want to have a really effective ad campaign to support it. A successful example of a launch like this would be Allbirds launch of their most recent shoe line. And this is where you can feed things that you want to emulate into ChatGPT and it will then use as a stylistic jumping off point to give you your outputs. So that's it for today's video. That's five frameworks for working with ChatGPT4. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe. And with that, we'll throw it over here to our AI playlist.